Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a super quick tutorial on how to do running totals in ClickSense. Um, this is quite uh, important because in a lot of uh, in a lot of scenarios we want to show what's the running total for different months and not just the month not just the sales for that particular month. So as you can see here we have our timeline and we have a dimension as year month and then we have our sales and then we have a running total here and running percentage. So this is what we're gonna look at in this video. And if you're interested to learn how to do it, well, just um, stick around. All right, so um, step one. So let's start with the table first and, and let's put in our dimension. And the dimension is gonna be year month because we want to see a continuous data here. So we have year month and then Let's just first put sales so that we can do like a comparison, right? So we know what we're doing is correct. So we have sales. Next, let's go to measure. So one thing you should know about two functions. One is range sum, which sums up a range of values. And another function is called above. So what above does is, so let's say you put in above one here. This means that from this particular row, that is what I've selected here. From this particular row, it's going to choose all the values above it. And if you put above two, it's going to choose one, two. So all the values from here. And if I put above zero, then it's going to choose the value from the same row. So these are the two things you need to know. And usually you use range sum and above in combination with one another. So when you use range sum, you're saying sum up a range of values from this column, but from this particular, uh, from above one, two or whatever. All right, so let's let's get to it. So let's go to measure and expression. So um, what we're gonna do is use range sum. So we have our range sum here, and then we're gonna say, we want a sum of all that are from the current row. So, uh, let's use above as well and you want the sum of my field here is sales amount so the sum of sales amount and you want it from the current row and you want the range what is the range that you want well the range that you want is from the row number so from that row number you want all above so you're gonna put we have how do you get the count for that row number row number well you can say uh, that we have a function here called row number. Um, so we could use that. And that's about it. So so let's modify this in some way. So let's say here you put two, in which case you would get the sum, but only for, the, for, for two rows above the current one. If you put 10, then for, you will get the sum of sales amount for 10 rows above the current one. And if you change this above to, let's say two, then you would get the range sum of all from two rows above. I hope you understand that. Uh, we can just show that a little bit in over here. So what we're saying is range sum above sum of sales amount, so zero. So over here from this row, and all the rows above it, row number. So here row number is zero, so you only have one. Here row number is, um, here you will have one, so it's only gonna be these two, and so on and so forth. So let's see whether if this is actually correct. Uh, let's rename it first. Let's see if this is correct first. So we have um, 6,020 and 7,980. Yeah, so that's 14,000, right? But um, let's just say that I don't, I don't trust my own math. So we have 6020.69 plus 7980, which gives us 14,069. And that's what we have in our second row here. And so if you see sales, we only had this. So it's adding up both. So if we'll do one more, one, one, nine, nine, five, point six, six. So that's 
25996 and you have 25996. So it's showing correct. Great. So this is how you do running total. Let's just do one extra thing here. Uh, we could use, so we want to know the percentage of how much percentage of the total sales came from that particular month. Maybe that would be interesting. So let's go to measures again and let's do, um, let's write range sum. Now you could do the same to get like, you could change range sum to range average. Then you would get the average sales for the previous months, right? Um, so you could use range So you could use range sum. And now we're going to do divide by um, sum of total so in this case what it's going to do is look at the sales overall and it it's going to ignore the dimension that you have and it's going to take the entire value of sales uh, so that you can divide and get the percentage of it. So total ignores the row numbers and the rows and instead and sums up the total sales amount or every single value that that is inside sales amount. And let's just change this one to number and percentage. And you see that here. Now, what we could also do is to see, now you have a running total, you could have a running average, just know what is the average sales per, at this point in time. So if you say like, what was the average sales till 24th April, and then you would get an average sale here. So what we could do here is, let's go to measure and simply change one small parameter. That is instead of doing range sum, where you're summing up everything, you could find range average. And this basically does the same thing where it takes in all the sales from all the rows above it and it gives you an average. So right, so you have your running average here. So in this case, there is no average, but in this, in the next one, it's gonna take the average of the two. Here, the average would be of all three. And you can cross check if you want. So that's how you do, let's say, running average. So super simple tutorial today. Hope you liked it and um, definitely subscribe for more. And please leave down in the comment, like um, if there's something that you're interested in knowing. Um, I'm learning myself and I love working on Click and I love working on Tableau. So happy to teach what I know and happy to learn from you all. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Peace.